Hey guys, it's Taylor here. We're back with another ear making video. This time we're gonna show you guys how to make realistic animal ears with absolutely no sewing, like these. These ears are also poseable, so you can bend them and shape them any way you want. We created this tutorial to celebrate our new book, which is all about making awesome animal ears and tails for cosplay. It includes seven tutorials for how to make different kinds of ears and tails with step-by-step -step pictures and instructions. The book is 67 pages with over 350 photos, and the whole thing is only $5.99. That's right. So if you want to become a master of fur, please check it out at kimpatsukosplay.com. And with that, let's get to the tutorial. To make these ears, you will need to get faux fur in the color of your choice. I'm using black fur for the back of my ears and white for the front. You will also need 2mm EVA foam, 12 gauge aluminum wire, a hot glue gun, scissors, and an electric shaver for the construction. Start drawing out your pattern for your ears onto paper to get the size and shape you want. If you don't want to make your own pattern, we also have a set of patterns for animal ears and tails on our website. Take your white fur for the front of the ears and flip it over. Draw arrows on the back to mark the direction of the fibers. This will help with your pattern placement. When you're happy with the placement, trace around the pattern with a pin. Then add 5 mm of seam allowance around the edges. Flip your pattern and repeat this for the second ear. You will need to do this again for the back of each ear. Mirror your pattern and trace it onto the back of the black fur. Then add on 5 mm of extra seam allowance around the edges. Flip the pattern for the other ear and repeat. Now you can cut out the pieces. To do this, I recommend using a craft knife to avoid stubbing the fur fibers. Take the knife and carefully cut around the edges for the white pieces. After that, you can remove the excess fabric. You can then do the same for the black pieces. When everything is cut out, you should have two white pieces and two black pieces for your ears. Next, you will have to make a frame. You will need some 2mm EVA foam and 12 gauge aluminum wire. Trace your pattern onto the 2mm EVA foam for each ear. Then take a crafting knife and cut out the pieces. Now you can add your aluminum wire. Take the wire and bend it into shape around the EVA foam ear. Leave two long pieces of wire poking out the bottom, then cut the rest off with wire cutters. You will use these two pieces later to attach the ears to a headband. Apply hot glue to the foam, then press the wire into place to secure it around the edges. Now the frame of your ears is complete and ready for fur. This foam and wire frame will be sandwiched between the black and white pieces of fur for each ear. Take the black fur pieces for the back of the ears and apply hot glue over the surface. Then you can line up the foam ear and press it onto the fabric to join them. Now you need to glue on the white front piece. Apply hot glue around the edges of the foam frame and around the edges of the black fur. Carefully line up the white piece, then press it into place. Make sure you get a good seal around the edges where the two fur pieces join. Once your ears are covered in fur, you can take a pair of scissors and carefully trim around the rough edges to neaten them. Be careful not to cut the long fur pieces and damage them while doing this. The base construction for the ears is done, but they still just look like big fluffy blobs and not very realistic. So the next step is to shave them with electric clippers. At the back of the ears, shave the top short and leave the bottom long and fluffy. Keep a vacuum handy to help minimize the mess. Now the ear has a bit more definition. For the inside of the ears, you can shave the top and the edges short, but try leave long tufts on the inner ear where it will fold over. You can use scissors to trim and clean up the hair around the edges and shorten some of the longer tufts. Once the ears are shaved, you can shape them. Gently bend the wires into position and curl the ear until you're happy with how it looks. Now you have a set of ears, and they look a bit more realistic than they did before, but they still look a little bit plain and boring. To add more color to your ear and make it look more realistic, you can use paint and hair chalk. Take black chalk and start to draw on more details and markings. I'm adding lines around the edges of the ears and creating darker shadows on the inside where the ear bends. 
To make these markings darker and more permanent, you can use paint and an airbrush. Airbrush along the lines you drew to make them more defined and darker. I'm airbrushing around the ears again and on the inside to add more shadows. If you don't have an airbrush, you can also apply the paint by hand using a toothbrush. Dip the toothbrush into the watered down paint and then carefully paint around the edges of your ear to create a more defined black line. This will also help hide the cut edges a bit more. As a final detail, you can add silver rings and studs for decoration. Glue these onto the ear with super glue. Now your ears are painted and decorated and look really awesome. But how do you wear them? No, you don't just stick the wires into your head. To attach these ears, you will need a headband. Take the long pieces of wire you left earlier and bend and wrap them around the headband tightly. If the ears are too loose on the headband, you can squeeze the wires tighter with pliers. Attaching ears like this will allow you to slide the ears up and down the headband so they can be positioned however you want. Because these ears have wire inside them, they're poseable, so you can bend them and change how they look. Now your ears are done, and you didn't have to sew a single thing. No mother, stop. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Once again, if you enjoyed it and you want to learn even more about making ears, then please check out our book. The support through our store helps us to continue creating costumes and tutorials like this. As usual, please like, subscribe, and follow us on social media. Until then, bye for now.